Let's write the balance net ionic equation for tin plus lead to nitrate. So this is a single displacement reaction where the tin that displaces the lead, we have lead by itself and we get tin nitrate. So type of reaction, single displacement. To write a net ionic equation, the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. In this case, it's already balanced, so that's kind of nice. Now we can write the state for each substance, and that looks like this. Tin, that's by itself, like lead, and they're just solid. Those are metals. Then for nitrates, nitrates are very soluble. So both of these substances will be aqueous. They'll be dissolved in water. We have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that's going to give us the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we get to cross out those spectator ions. They're on both sides. All I see that is the same in the reactants here on top and the products on the bottom is these two nitrate ions. So these are spectator ions. We can cross those out. Everything else is unique. So this is the net ionic equation for SN plus PBNO32. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for this tin plus lead to nitrate. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have this two plus in the reactants. We have two plus in the products. Charge is the same on both sides. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for SN plus PBNO32. Tin plus lead to nitrate. Thanks for watching.